Hi everyone, going to uh, talk about Maria's fold today. It's not actually my favourite fold, it, I find it very complicated, but I, a lot of people I know do like it uh, if they've got little boys. So I'm going to demonstrate it for you today. Um, this is my newborn size baby doll, I'll just put her out of the way for the moment. With Maria's fold, I'm going to do this with uh, um, uh, one of my uh, fast absorber squares, um, which is a bit like a muslin square, or it's a, a flat, a mixture of a muslin square and a flat. You can do it with Terry's, you can do it with any, anything, as long as you start with a square. This is a 45 centimetre square, which is probably just about right for a newborn. Um, if you've got uh, a bigger square, start by folding it. Up smaller so that you start with a smaller square what you need is the the side length of the square needs to be about the same as your baby's waist um, this square is a 45 centimeter square an average newborn baby is uh, about a 40 centimeter waist so um, we're just going to tuck this in a tiny little bit I'm not going to fold it up smaller to begin with but it with a bigger square you could fold it up smaller to begin with now, with Maria's fold, you need to uh, in, in imagine the midline of your, of your, your square, which is a, approximately there. You're going to fold in from the top corner or take it in a little bit. This is a 45 centimetre square on a uh, probably 40 centimetre baby. So I'm going to, going to fold it in a, a couple of centimetres at the top and fold up to the midline. So you get uh, a fold like that. Then bring that fold back so it goes right up the midline. midline. Do the same on the other side. You can match up the, the folds. It's in a couple of centimetres there and then back to the midline. Then with Maria's fold, this is the way she does it, you fold that flap up and you fold these flaps in. Uh, you could do it that way and that way to make it neat. I'll show you a little trick later for making it neater. And then it goes on your baby uh, just as you would normally. Pull in, as you, as you fold up between the legs, pull in around the top of the thighs just to make it neat. Uh, this is where I find it very fiddly and very messy because you've got all this bit to, uh, think to um, deal with. Side flaps come across, side flaps come across and nipper it took up really well around the edges uh, i've lost my nipper well, you can imagine it's there and you nipper it shut as as you would normally let me go and find a nipper there we go don't forget when you use a nipper always pull down really hard on the bottom so you get that nice Y shape. You can tuck in around the legs, you can tuck in around the back uh, to make a better seal. But that's the basic Maria's fold. Now I find it actually, this is my little trick, I find it much easier when you get to this stage and you're folding back there. Instead of folding it back there, flip it underneath. You've got your marker as to where it's to go. Just flip that extra bit underneath. Same the other side goes to there, and just flip that right underneath because it saves all that bit that's that's hanging out and gets in the way of the others. I also find if I've got if a, if you've got a newborn baby, it's quite good to get a really good seal around the back. So fold down a little bit at the back just to give that extra seal there and I prefer to fold it outwards because that gets a nice it gets it tighter than folding inwards I think some people say fold it inwards but I think it works much better if you fold it outwards baby goes on fold this up to the right thing and you've got all the, the bulk of it is still there tuck in as usual around the top of the thighs because it makes it easier um, than tucking in later there and come across uh, you'll see we've got extra an extra little bit of a flap there at the front. You can tuck that under if you like to keep it there and keep it neat. But I think that is a much easier and neater way to do it than Maria's original fold. You've still got good tuck-ins around there. This way you've got a really tight seal around the back as well. You've got that extra flap there. You can tuck it under if you'd rather, but I think that's an easier way to do it 
than the original but do have a play with it it's really important that you find your own personal best way to do it and you can do this with the terry as well it's very bulky on a ter terry at the front but it works and if you need that bulk and you need it there then it's a good fold to use if you have any uh, comments or want to make any suggestions please email me info at littlepants.co.uk and uh, we'll have further plays bye for now <laughs>